Bible facts Hell was not created for mankind who was created in the image of it, his creator but it was created for devil and his angels that is the fact every man and every woman should know and everyone who goes into the hell hole goes by his own choice by thought but purpose and by action every soul is getting into that but the truth is that god created us heaven to be with him forever we have a beginning but we have no end you can inherit heaven and get into heaven's door in and through only jesus the christ not any other way not by religion neither by good works but only by faith in jesus christ through grace that is the basic doctrine of the scripture so by faith and his gracious providence the heaven is for you not hell none of the soul should go into hell that is god's desire and his will if you go there it is at your choice please repent greetings many are laughing at uh, when we say hell and heaven but bible explicitly records it in matthew 24:41 then he will also say to those on the left hand that is jesus who is sitting as a judge he will pronounce the judgment depart from me you cursed into the everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels you see hell is otherwise called the everlasting fire which has been prepared for devil and his angels devil is the common enemy of mankind all those who reject christ jesus and the free salvation which is otherwise called the gift would go into the hell hole which is which are otherwise called the scripture calls it as an everlasting fire and that is the final condemnation for devil devil has been judged already when jesus died on the cross uh, he says the prince of this world has been judged once and for all and he has been allowed for a certain period so that the final destination of the common enemy who is the devil or satan will be the hell so all those who reject the free salvation in christ jesus by faith and grace would be going there it is not god does not want that kind of doom for any soul he want to save that is why it is free salvation and it is a gift in and through god's only son jesus christ you can accept it or reject it you have been given a free will so the time is running out hell is real and heaven is real you were whether you believe it or not only when you know at the point of death or when jesus christ come in the as a second advent now the things that are happening around the world which has made the world as a hell when you see the war and the natural calamities and so many other things which tells us that the judgment is very closer and the world itself has been made as a hell it is not uh, it has become uninhabitable in future that is why the bible says there is no righteousness dwells in this present earth and which has been reserved for fire it will be destroyed by fire that's what the bible says bible talks very clearly about the hell which was created for all those who have been cursed cursed are those who have rejected jesus christ why you should go there 
repent and receive Jesus Christ and receive the free salvation in and through Jesus Christ that will be far greater and you can enjoy a blissful heaven in the presence of Jesus Christ so dear soul dear men and women dear sisters and brothers do not reject the free salvation that is the god's plan god has planned a free salvation for all those who were created in the image of his son jesus christ the bible explicitly says this is the only word of god which brings us the truth in verity there is no parallel scripture or the word of god to the bible bible cannot expound everything but it is very clearly emphasize about hell and heaven okay so hell is real you whether you believe it or not it is going to be but many because these days the evil is on the increase not only that the entire world is under the wicked sway of the evil one the bible says wicked sway means it is a sort of selfish attitude he is keep growing in every area of politics religion and even in the spiritual side i need money money is the otherwise the worst idolatry on the spiritual side in the christian side so seeking the kingdom of god actually has been given a promise attached to it with a contentment and that also has been distorted greatly as a prosperity it's not prosperity but it is contentment with the basic need met for all those who seek the kingdom of god first and the righteousness of god the righteousness is nothing but the personified righteousness of jesus christ who is god the son so in his name you stay blessed and repent and be saved amen and amen